Hello everyone, how are y'all doing? I have a final update on this and I am uh, really happy with it. I added a few things to it and I changed some stuff, but I think I finally brainstormed enough and uh, set this up to where I like it for now, of course. Uh, and let me just go over the cover. The cover is from Staples. It uh, came in a notebook that I purchased, and it was just a uh, lined paper in there. The it, discs are from Levenger. Um, see if I can see them. They're really tiny. And I'll show you the little container that it came in. Uh, this is uh, what they are, and it's a set of 22. It's an inch and a half. I mean, a, yeah, half an inch, sorry. Half an inch discs. So they're really tiny. They're about the size of a a dime almost they're really really tiny i just love them uh, but i'm loving the compact size of this planner so let's go over what's in here let me open it up okay so the uh, dividers are from staples and it's a set of five of them they are colored um, but i would love to get the clear ones more of a clear one would be uh, nice to have uh, later on down the road. So in the first divider, I have this printable from Annie Plants Printables, and it's a year in pixels. And I'm just tracking a project that I'm working with uh, with my sister on that. Um, that's what's in that first page. This next printable is So Much Crafting printable. It's a free printable on her Facebook group, and it is just the dates. And I have that there just to know when, what holidays are coming up. Then the next one is also a So Much Crafting insert, and that is for uh, anniversaries, birthdays, and all that. I have not filled that out just yet. The next tab is where I made a lot of changes. I'm trying to find a, um, what do you call it, uh, in, a monthly, weekly insert that I'm happy with. What I did is uh, I found some old inserts that I had there from 2017. It was a academic insert from Staples. It was 2016 to 2017. And I just uh, white out the, it was very little uh, things to white out on the date. It was just those numbers there and then the date there. This I did white out to a yes, that's crazy, but I did white that out. So this is what February looks like. Here it has three months on there and I just went ahead and white that out. This uh, ruler here, or bookmarker, is from uh, Staples. It is the Martha Stewart uh, bookmarker. And you can see I just wrote in the holidays that are here and a dentist appointment that's coming up, a birthday party, and I'm keeping this very minimal. That's what I wanted is to have a really simple um, layout there. The next one is, this is where all the magic happens. All I wanted was a place to make lots and lots of lists. So what I did is I just divided the page in half. This is for house stuff, chores that I need to do. And the other side is for office stuff, errands, anything out of the home. So I do have check the mailbox, um, give my emails to zero. I did put the shows that I'm watching here at the bottom. So that's like at the end of the day, I can watch those um but yes this is the way it's set up i do have the three months here and i just went ahead and wiped that out um in the next week which is here i will put a sticker here to utilize that space but uh this is what a blank one looks like i do have these little uh half pages i guess they fit in the mini happy planner but i've never used them when i placed an order with the lady on ebay she sent me a bunch of these so I'm going to use these up as the best I can just to uh, use them up and be rid of them so that's what that is and I'm just using it for a grocery list this is a uh, the grocery list I had a few days ago and I'm going to use the back one for this week that's why it's in here um, and I did white out this one it's ready to go I haven't dated it yet same thing there and uh, I already wrote in March, have it ready to go. But I believe that's as far as I made it. This is what the page looks like 
before anything is done to it. As you can see, I will put my lines in halfway right there. There's a note section there, which is really handy, and I'll just write the line in there. It'll be home and um, uh, work chores or whatever, office work and stuff like that. And then I have this top tab right here that goes to this section, which is a monthly tracker. And I wrote February uh, things that I'm tracking, floss and all that, steps, and then the mood. And this is one thing that I wanted to have in my planner. I always do, and I never do that. So I went on my computer and found this printable. And I printed the wrong, wrong, wrong one because I was supposed to print the one for 28 days. It actually printed backwards and gave me the one for the 31 days. But that is fine. I may put washi there or I may just leave it alone, not worry about it. But I have this printable. I might as well use it. I could have used it in March, but I didn't want to. I want to test this before I want to get into it too much. I want to make sure that I am tracking every day. But uh, this one is set up for February. And I will use. go ahead and use the... Print them if I need any more of them, but we're going to test this out this month. The next tab is the uh, financial stuff. I just have a, a list of different statements that I want to check every month. And then the monthly bills, I'm just going to make sure they're getting paid. Uh, with our budget, um, the husband is now in control of everything. Um, the only thing I am tracking is making sure that the bills are getting paid. That's all I'm doing. That's all he allows me to do. I'm not in control of anything else. Um, yesterday, I went to go get groceries, and he told me, you have this much money. Uh, go get everything you need to get. And, yeah. So, that's what that one is. Uh, the next printable. Oh, and these printables are from So Much Crafting. Um, and they're for the bills. Let me try to zoom you in a little more there. Okay. This one is for irregular bills, the car insurance, home insurance, different things like that, property tax and propane. And I just like to keep up with when those bills uh, do come up to be able to save for them and whatnot. And then the fourth one is just a grid paper in there that I got from Peanuts Planner Co. And then Dot Grid. This is from Sea Lemon on YouTube. And it's just a dot grid in there. And it's just blank. I haven't done anything with this yet. But I'm going to make a few lists. They're going to be in here. I want to make one for a list of videos that I want to do. Uh, a wish list. Because I took the old, one, the old one out. Now I want to get a new one. And uh, try to do something different with the wish list. I want to set it up to where when I want something. I don't just go out and buy it. Like bigger purchases. I want to write it down where it's at, the price and all that, and maybe research it. And if I still want it after a week or something, then I'll go get it. But uh, I want to try to work on that a little more. But um, there's different lists I want to uh, keep track of as well as projects that I want to work on. And that I'm going to put that all in there. Then the last section is just the menu planning. And I've been using this for two weeks. It's not working out really good for me. It is and it isn't. Because um, I planned all these meals and I keep having to move them. So you can see this one was erased. This one was erased. So is this. They were all erased and I'm just moving things around. Um, because it seems like every day someone's not home or no one's home and I'm the only one home. So I just have breakfast for lunch, uh, supper on three days right there. So this isn't working. Um, I'm gonna change it to where I'll just have a, a little sticky note of a few things that we have planned out to eat. And uh, whenever they come up or I, we can eat them, I'll just cross them off. Cause I am marking that here. We have stuffed peppers. We ha I had waffles, then we had a stew dinner. And then we're going to have pork, uh, pork ribs, but the husband has left home already. We don't know where, when he's coming home. Um, I'm, like today he will, but uh, later this evening. So we're not going to make that anymore. He was going to make that. So it's not going to happen. So I need to change that as well. So it's 
this isn't working for me the way I wanted it to. So we're going to have to make a change to that. So that is that. And then the next one is just a, that, that's a, something I wanted to look into is some, the debt free charts. I'm not going to do that anymore, but uh, to get them charts that everyone has where you can uh, track your debt, uh, it's a debt free charts and I need to look that up. I'm not sure if it's .com or on Instagram or what, but that, and then I just have grid paper in the back. That is it. Also, this pocket is from Staples, and I do like it. It's two sides on that. Both sides have a pocket, but uh, yeah. Anyways, that is what this planner is looking like. I am still using some of the other ones, but this one goes with me. And like I said, it's just a simple list of things that need to get done. I need to try to do, um, and there's plenty of room to write and everything. Uh, no stickers. I probably won't. The only sticker I may include is this one here at the bottom. It's just a pen only. This might be what I call my messy planner. I have my grocery list in there and the tracker, which I'm enjoying. I'm going to try to do that. I'll try to you know, make sure y'all are following me on Instagram. I'll try to post a pictures of how it's going because with the steps and tracker, it's going to be interesting just to put a dot and then do the little... What do you call it the diagram I guess and just see how it's going I was gonna do the weight but I think that's too personal to have on here but yes that is everything in this planner y'all let me know what y'all think about this if you have any questions um, about this or anything or where I got these inserts I am currently looking for these inserts I think they're only available for the academic which is fine because I have them until July. I just have to redate them, which is, like I said, very little. It's like this page, it's only uh, widened out that and then the numbers, which isn't much. And the occasional ones that have the uh, a holiday written on it. So it ain't that much work. This, I'm going to probably put some graph paper on it, but we shall see. Anyways, that is what this planner is looking like. Hopefully y'all enjoyed this video and uh, if you have any questions, like I said, leave them below and I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. Otherwise, y'all have a wonderful day and we will talk to y'all later. Bye.